Well, I'm going into my fifth year of a combined degree, as you said, to obtain my Bachelor of Arts in Native Studies and Bachelor of Education secondary route. And my major is Cree Language and my minor is Native Studies. And so far to date, I've taken probably about, oh goodness, 20 courses in Native Studies. So learning a lot of, about the histories and um, education of Native peoples in, in Canada. So that'll be advantageous for my teaching career. Uh, yes, I was in the uh, NS152, which is Beginner Cree, and then the Intermediate Cree, which is 252, and then the Advanced Cree, which is the 352. And I've also taken the NS404, which is an Advanced Cree, where you just do translations. Before coming to the university, I just pretty well knew basic commands in Cree. And uh, now I'm capable of even teaching the 152, uh, you learn the structure, the language, the syntax of the Cree language, so it's definitely advantageous. Now, um, I hate to admit it, I'm not fluent in it, so within this next year, that's my job, is to learn to become fluent. I know the structure of the language, I can write it, but to speak it, it's another story. Even before coming to university, I didn't know much about the histories, my culture, the languages. So coming to university has really opened my eyes. And it's been a learning, but also a healing journey for myself to learn because we never spoke of residential schools or histories of native peoples in Canada, none of it at all. So coming here was a real eye opener. So like I said, it's a learning journey and a healing journey. I'd like to even see more uh, um, classes. For instance, in the humanities, there is no indigenous content in the humanities. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm forced to take um, courses that aren't really relevant to, to myself, you know, to have indigenous content in, in it, an indigenous perspective. So I'd like to see more classes offered with with indigenous content in it. From an indigenous perspective, I guess it's teaching holistically, you know, uh, we're, we're not just teaching linear where you learn this, memorize this, and you're tested on that. Uh, with Indigenous education, it's more teaching the whole person. So you're teaching the physical, the mental, the emotional, and that. Mm -hmm. So just teaching all that, taking all that into context and within the surroundings, like, you know, all of our relations that we're called to win. Mm -hmm. So teaching how we're affecting everything around us, you know, inside of us and outside of us to all work in relationship and harmony. Awesome. So that's what Indigenous education means to me. It's more holistic approach to learning and teaching. definitely more programs, more classes, and um, during the past year and a half, I'm seeing teachers starting to incorporate a little more Indigenous content mm -hmm. into their programming. So it's good so that we all can learn together. You know, not, not just the Indigenous population, but all to learn, to work together, to learn together about Indigenous issues. Mm -hmm. You know, that's start of reconciliation where we all work together, where we all understand. So hopefully in 10 years from now, um, I hate to say to get our word out, but to uh, people know that, oh my goodness, maybe you can help me put words in my mouth here, you know, just to understand the Indigenous people's issues and to work together, that Wakotu and working together, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully in 10 years, we won't have so much uh, turmoil, I guess, you know, so much prejudice is in that, so we could all work together. Years ago, we really didn't have any Indigenous authors, mm -hmm. not too many Indigenous scholars, and my goodness, it's it's just evolving this last while, like to have so many Indigenous authors that we can teach in the classroom, even artists and so on and so forth. You know, we're, we're really 
gaining momentum in those areas. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, for curriculum, from a teacher's perspective, there is a lot now, but I'm sure there's more to come. Mm -hmm. Definitely. It's kind of taking control of our own education, what we're teaching. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say control because we do have to follow curriculum. But uh, yes, we are, we are, oh my goodness, there I go, lost for words again. You know, we're making our own. We have our authors. We have our historians. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our artists. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to take front and center stage now. Mm -hmm. rather than being handed the books to teach. Mm 